Have you heard all this talk about death rates? What actually is deadly? Obviously, all death is bad, but it's still good to know where to place our biggest concern if our goal is to prevent loss of life. So today, we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite topic, death, death rates! Oh, uh, you, oh, um, uh, you see, you got a, on your, yeah, okay. There we go. Now, you might be asking, can we really make a lighthearted video about something as morbid as death? Well, we'll find out. Spoiler alert, this video is going to talk about all kinds of death. How is that a spoiler alert? Well, because some people might be traumatized by a video about death. That's not what a spoiler alert is. Wait, what's a spoiler alert? A spoiler alert is when you ruin the ending of a movie. Wait, what do we call it when we show something that might traumatize people? You mean a trigger warning? Yes. Trigger warning, we're going to be making jokes and talking about death. I'm not even sure a trigger warning is what you really meant. But fine. Enough talk. More data. It's data time. I'm data. Oftentimes, the things we're most afraid of aren't as deadly as we might think. Conversely, the deadliest things sometimes surprise us. We frequently spend a great deal of energy protecting ourselves from other people hurting us. However, it's usually health-related problems that are the actual killers that we should be the most concerned about. In school, we learn about the terrible deaths that occurred in World War I and World War II. But the number of Americans who died from the 1918 flu pandemic was greater than the number of Americans who died in both World Wars combined. So with that, let's take a look at the death rates of some things you might be terrified of, as well as some of the things you might not be. A lot of people are afraid to go in the ocean because of sharks, but in fact, sharks only kill about one or two people each year in this country. Most of these occur in beach states, like Florida, or like here in California. The most deadly animal that attacks people is actually one of the smallest. Bees are one of the most deadly animals to humans. Bees, hornets, and wasps kill about 60 people a year. Many people actually die from having an allergic reaction to the venom, but still others die from swarming, which is common in Africanized killer bees. Whoa! However, the deadliest animal doesn't actually attack people. Deers kill about 200 Americans each year, which is more than any other animal. But deers don't attack us, we attack them. Colliding into a deer with your car can be fatal, not just for the deer, but also for those in the vehicle. <laughs> The next biggest causes of death involve people killing people. This is where things start to get more deadly, so... Spoiler alert! Trigger warning! Uh, trigger warning! Trigger warning! About a thousand people are killed by police officers each year. After that, about 16,000 people are victims of homicide. Finally, the largest category involves intentional self-harm. About 48,000 people commit suicide each year. The next categories of death are medical in nature. Kidney disease kills over 50,000 people. The flu kills nearly 60,000 people. Diabetes kills over 80,000. Alzheimer's kills more than 120,000. Strokes kill almost 150,000. And lower respiratory diseases kill almost 160,000 people each year. The next most deadly category involves unintentional injuries. About 160,000 people die each year from accidents. Most involve drug overdoses, automobile accidents, and falls. Hey, we share the same bike. We share a lot more than just that. Finally, we have our top two killers, which again are medical. Cancer kills nearly 600,000 people, and heart disease kills over 650,000, making it the leading cause of death in the US. As you can see, the top 10 leading causes of death account for about three quarters of all deaths. The one large killer that I've left off the list is the one that is unique to 2020. That is, of course, you know, that disease everyone's talking about? The one you can get flagged for mentioning? For 2020, the death toll from this disease was about 345,000, making it the third biggest killer of the year. That's more than the number of American soldiers that died in World War I, and it's approaching the number that died in World War II. Thanks for taking this journey with us through the deadliest killers in our country. Hopefully, we can better understand the biggest killers we face in our lives. I'm thinking of making more of these types of videos. I bet you can't guess what the next one will be about. Trigger warning, it'll have something to do with data. That time you meant spoiler alert. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>